Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Tonight News. I'm Joe Boring, and this is going to be a quick video reviewing the standout stars of the season for UMass, as unfortunately they were eliminated from the tournament by Minnesota. It was a great game, though. That was a game that got really good attendance in the tournament. It was at the Wheeling Nailers Stadium, and that's not that, or not the Wheeling Nailers Stadium, the Wooster Railers Stadium, as that's not too far from, um, obviously, where UMass is at, so there was some traveling fans there. But when it comes to their team, they have a good mix of young and old talent. Obviously, Bobby uh, Trevino uh, was their leading scorer at 1.32, a whopping 1.32 points per game. But he only played 27 games, but when Josh Lapina came in, absolutely fantastic. One point per game in 27 games. And he's another guy, guess what team he's on? Already has a lot of young talent. The Anaheim Ducks, he's a prospect for. So Josh Lapina, definitely a guy to look out for with that Anaheim Ducks team. And if I'm not mistaken, let me check Kaffernley real quick. I feel like they might have honestly just signed the kid. Um, because I saw the Ducks. Yes, they did. Joshua Lapina, uh, eight seven eight three three three. They did sign him to his entry level contract. So Lapina is coming out after his sophomore season after having a fantastic breakout season. So good for him. Garrett Walt, another senior, played fantastic for them. Point seven eight, but also plays fantastic on both ends. Uh, or not Walt Garrett Wyatt, I should say. Um, uh, he plays fantastic on both ends. He's not signed by anybody. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see where Waite uh, decides to go, as I finally pronounced the name correctly, uh, where he decides to go because he started his career not fantastic in the defensive end, got much better, got way better, and then got significantly better. So he's keep progressing there and kept his offense upticking too. So it seems like Waite might end up being a guy that has a chance to make it up and work at least from the ECHL up if he doesn't get a chance at the AHL level to sign on with somebody and latch on with somebody, or even somebody gives him one of those contracts that he's an undrafted kid, that he gets a chance at the NHL level. Um, and then Ryan Ufko, uh, he's a freshman with Nashville, uh, is the team that uh, he was drafted by. And obviously Nashville has a pretty solid defense already, so they're going to get this kid in there in the future as well. So that's obviously going to work out swimmingly for them. And in his freshman season, the kid had 26 assists and was a brilliant passer. Uh, he seems like he's going to fit right in the Nashville. As they like having guys that can really push the pace up to their – push the pass, I should say. Not the pace, also the pace, but push the pass up to their forwards very consistently. And then there's Matthew Kessel as well, the junior who was drafted by St. Louis, who St. Louis just signed as well. Uh, who continue to progress and continue to get better at shutting down the other team, but also being a guy that can set up his forwards as well and shoot the puck and score a few goals here and there as well. A smart fifth-round pick uh, in 2020 by St. Louis, and that's quick, obviously. Turnaround two years later, gets signed, so that's good for him, as we're going to get to see now what he might be able to do with St. Louis before the end of the season. But this team, I would say those guys are the stars. You also have um, Lebster as well, Gazo, um, and then Morrow as well. Obviously, Scott Morrow should be pointed out as well as a freshman. And uh, he's a guy that got picked by Carolina in the second round as if they need any more uh, talent. So uh, this team was underratedly loaded just because they don't have the popping names of the Maddie Veneers, the Skyler Brindamores, uh, because he's obviously Rod Samaki, Sam Eskevich's of the world. Um, they, they don't have those guys, but they still have a very good team team and th th they showed it this entire season and they showed it in the tournament with great fight losing an OT in one of the best games of the entire tournament this far against Minnesota and then when it comes to the bottom of the roster guys obviously for goaltending uh Matt Murray uh the senior um uh, not the guy that plays uh played for Pittsburgh obviously he was absolutely fantastic and it seems like he should get a chance at the next level hasn't been drafted a guy that definitely should get recognition for continuing to be consistent his entire career at Massachusetts and I would be shocked if he wants to continue playing that he doesn't latch on with somebody in the pros at either the ECHL AHL level or even somebody like the Oilers um give him a shot but let's um just wrap this one up here where I would say 
uh, all the guys you mentioned in Ketchel, uh, Gazo, um, Lapino, Ufko, Moro, Trevino, Waite, um, and then Lepster as well. Those are kind of the top stars. But they also, of course, have Colin Felix and Ty Farmer, who are the good guys that they might not produce points, but they can shut down the other teams on defense. And it'll be interesting to see what they can continue to do as those guys turn pro. So this team, those would be the the under-the-radar guys that don't pop off when you look at the stat sheet, but they're still good, as well as Donaldson as well. He fits into that category in the the 27-game. Sullivan fits into that category that can continue to grow better because he's only a sophomore. And so does Matt Baker. So a lot of guys do fit into that category as well. So it's definitely going to be interesting um, to see how some of these guys continue to be as they progress their careers. But for now, they had great seasons for Massachusetts, mm-hmm. and that's why they were able to get as far as they did and play one of the best games in the tournament. And unfortunately for their fans, they just fell short. This has been the Sports Fanatic News Edition on UMass as we look at their team and who the key players were and who the underdog players were for them to have this fantastically successful season this year. Please do subscribe down below or up above on the Easy Dudes widget to keep the channel growing to 215 or more. Thanks, everybody, for the love and support this far. Really appreciate you. Peace out, everyone.